Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Taurus, this week we're going to see what is a message that your spirit guides have been trying to get to you? What have they been trying to tell you? We're going to ask what is the obvious message here and then what has been a little bit interesting and even caused me to have to dig a bit is what is the sort of hidden deeper message that your guides have been trying to tell you? And then we're going to ask where or how are these messages being left for you or how are they signs, synchronicities in whatever way? What is the source? Where are these messages coming from? So we're going to get started. I'm going to start with the um, Lace of Destiny Oracle deck and then I have the Steampunk Tarot. Just a reminder that it is a general message because it is general. It may or may not resonate. If it does resonate, I am glad we're able to connect. If not, hopefully the next time. Taurus, my Bovon Bybes. All right, it's a big deck, so I'm going to just split it. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring it back together again. All right. What have your spirit guides been trying to tell you, Taurus? What is the obvious message they've been trying to get to you? And you got two cards for that. It's balancing the tunnel. <laughs> balancing the tunnel. The situation calls for balance here. So there could be two aspects of your life that you're trying to keep balanced. Now, the tunnel is kind of like there's only one way through. There's only one way through. It can be, um, okay, I feel like the messages are specifically telling you about one area of your life and one direction to go in. That's the obvious message here. It's almost like you may not get messages about anything else except one area of your life. It's almost to the highlight to you that you are going in the right direction. There's honestly only one way forward. Well, there could be two. You could go forwards or you could go backwards, whatever you choose to do. But it does feel like to me that if, you know, your spirit guides are talking to you, if um, your own intuition is trying to give you hints and synchronicities to your more conscious level mind, it seems to be around or focused around one area of your life. And it could be like how to balance that area of your life or... Again, it's funny because this person is walking on on like a beam that's crossing the water. And there's only one way. <laughs> there's only, at this point, it's like you could go backwards. It feels like it would be harder to go backwards than it would to, be go, to go forwards, right? Because it is like, I guess you could try to turn around. That's interesting. Both of these cards are like, right? Tunnel is this way or that way. The beam is this way or that way. You could fall into the water, but then that feels like coming off your path completely. Mm. So it honestly is. It's like your spirit guides have been trying to show you which way to go here. You may doubt the direction that you're being shown at times. So that's why it's like obvious. Just keeps telling you to go that way. Just keeps telling you to go that way. Just keeps telling you to go that way. You could either go that way. You could stand in place or you could go, I'm going back. Going back feels like it's more difficult. Go forwards. Go forwards. All right. What is the hidden message that your guides have been trying to tell you? What is your what is the hidden message that your guides have been trying to tell you? N nowadays passing time nowadays you know it's that's funny is this like the present card in the other deck or is there a present card for this it's passing time nowadays you're just passing time nowadays. <laughs> you're just passing time nowadays maybe there's something on like something blocking the tunnel it's like you know just hanging out it's just hanging out going through the tunnel where are the messages coming from? Like, where, where, how are the messages kind of finding their way to you? Where, how are the messages finding their way to you? Uh, hope. Interesting. Hope. 
geez, it honestly, it's, um, well, it feels like you're passing time walking in a straight line. And it's almost too, like, it doesn't even feel like, you know, you have the visibility that this dude would have on the beam. Like, you can look around and see everything. It's like in a tunnel. It's almost as if maybe there's some type of tunnel vision. So, I, I kind of want to go in the book here. Hope. So, areas of hope. Where you find hope. Where you see hope. That's, that's the indication of where to go. What you hope for. And you got this snail at the bottom. Oh my God. And you have speed in the reverse. No. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe things were moving quickly at some point for you. Now it's like a snail's pace. Little bit at a time. <laughs> Went from speed to slow. Mm. Where's the book here? Where's the book? Nowadays. Nowadays, Taurus. Oh my God, I opened right to it. That never happens, woohoo. All right, it is present. It is the present because they have the past and the future. Is this the same creator of this deck also made the, um, you know, you've probably seen me use it a lot. Shadows of the Middle Ages and there's a present. So this is kind of like present. So right, it's like be present. Be present going in the tunnel. <laughs> On this card, events of today are depicted. This scene takes place in Paris with the Eiffel Tower visible in the background. It is also evening and bright street lamps illuminate the road, reflecting on the wet pavement. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe you were, maybe there's something going, something going to happen for you, or maybe it, something's unfolding in Paris that would affect you down the road. So I don't know, that's very curious. It's a deeper hidden message. Cozy cafes provide shelter from the rain, where modern-day people enjoy hot coffee or tea with fresh croissants. Solitary pedestrians walk leisurely under colorful umbrellas, strolling alongside cafes and restaurants. Cars buzz around, forming a tight line. How beautiful and tranquil it is here. Or have I already said that about the past? It's wonderful everywhere when the soul is calm and content. That's interesting. Well, we're not going to go to the past card, but it's here on the page, right? And what did we say here? It's like you could go forwards or you could go backwards. And maybe there's things that you've experienced in the past that seemed ha like happier, happier times for you or more tranquil. But it's almost like to say, hey, it's kind of like don't be in the Four of Cups. Don't be in the Four of Cups. Don't be kind of feeling disappointed about how things or situations or relationships or circumstances have unfolded in your life because you could miss out on the experience now. The present is a segment of timeline comprising events happening at this moment, a specific region in space-time. That's interesting, right? Like, I talked, yeah. It doesn't have to be Paris, but I kind of feel like there's something going on. Maybe that has or will have some sort of connection to you in the future. But right now it doesn't. On certain assumptions, the present refers to the current days, months, and even years. In this sense, the present contrasts with the past, events that have already occurred. And the future, events yet to happen is situated between them. So you're also in the in-between. You are in the in-between. Maybe you're halfway through a tunnel system. The past is behind you. It's kind of feeling, mm. you know how that feels to me? It feels like you're a little bit past some type of threshold, like um, a medium. You know, if you get to a certain point along this post, this beam, or in this tunnel, you then hit the halfway point of where it is that you're going. So I feel like you've gone past the halfway point. So it would, if you revert back to old thinking, you revert back to um, thinking about the past, or if you try to speed up the future, you're gonna miss the experience that you're in right now is the deeper message. And it could be an in-between, but this could be a period of time where, you know, maybe it's good time to, uh, I don't know, 
develop, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I just think the in-between is the time to like assess stuff, clean out closets, <laughs> you know, know. kind of like that. It's not like, you're not making big plans for the future right now, but the past is also something that you're not maybe trying to close off. You're past the point, particularly with how these messages are coming to you, is you are past the threshold of the center, the center of your past and the center to where your future exists. So, you know, let's say you're, let's say you, um, you quit a job, you got fired from a job or laid off from a job or something like that, right? And there's been a period of time that has happened in, since then. Let's say it's, let's say it's two months, okay? And the halfway point between you losing that job and getting a new job, let's say that would be another two months going forward. So let's say it would be a four full months of unemployment. It's almost like you're at the three month mark now, right? So you're still not in the future, but you still have another month to go. Now that could be relevant to some of you in terms of that timeline, but it is. So this is really coming across as the in-between. So don't lose hope. And I feel like there's glimmers of light because if you are getting closer to the future from the past in some sort of in-between moment here, there's going to be glimmers of light that start to shine through in the tunnel where the tunnel is going to very gradually become lighter as you get closer to that source of exiting, right? And it does feel, it does feel like very slow. Maybe you were quick to go into the tunnel. <laughs> Could be too. Something happened quickly here in the past. Time, time and, and the, the movement of time seems to have changed for you. Or how quickly things were unfolding around you. It's a, it's slow. I mean, obviously hearing slow and steady wins the race. What is the tunnel here? Let's look at that. Outside of, you know, how I kind of. All right, it is. It's trials, difficulties, problems, a challenging path ahead. Traps, complexities, fear, limitations, hopelessness, and loneliness. Interesting. So how are the messages? It's hope. Hope. Because hopelessness. Where do you find hope in your life? Do not despair is the advice. Life is unpredictable. Mood towards the light you will manage do not lose hope wow well let's go to hope let's go to hope What's interesting, the happiness card is in Paris too. The happiness card is in Paris with the Eiffel Tower, so that's curious. I don't know, maybe some of you, there's some sort of memories surrounding um, Paris or a vacation. I don't know, hope. Look at this. Anticipation of something positive. Something bright on the horizon. A feeling that a change for the better is imminent. A sense of pleasant events about to unfold and a deep belief in the power of love. In the image, a girl's scarf blows around her neck. Her airy dress ripples and her hat teeters on the edge of taking flight into the distance. The dogs beside her appear slightly restless as if they sense something on the brink of transformation. A multitude of seagulls soars in the sky, symbolizing lightness and the soaring of the soul. The girl carries the sense that change is coming, eagerly awaiting it and holding strong belief in its arrival. It's not quite the change. It's not quite the change itself, but rather the gentle breeze of transformation. <laughs> we feel it in our bones, presuming to declare, yes, I know exactly what's coming. <laughs> there you go. So maybe you do. And you deny, I don't know, you're in the tunnel. Oh, the tunnel's a shitty place. <laughs> the tunnel is a shitty, echoey place. Echoey place too, anytime you've been in a tunnel. Sa everything, it's almost like things are amplified in a tunnel. Your vision becomes super acute because the lighting is weird. Sound bounces all over the place, so sound feels interesting. <laughs> I don't know why. 
I got Tracy Chapman in my head. I love that girl. It's an say it like it is. This is she I think it's called Say It Like It Is. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Say it like it is. Okay. The obvious message from ye guides. Temperance. It is. It's balance. Balance. You got the balance card. So you got temperance coming out with the balance card. There you go. Alchemizing. You're in the in-between. Your situation is about forming balance. Possibly areas of your life that are coming into stronger and stronger balance. The tunnel. The queen of wands. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> it's like... I gotta say, the Queen of Wands is probably the one energy that's like, I'm gonna run through the tunnel. But right, it looks like, oh, I'm gonna run through the tunnel. You know what song just came into my head? <laughs> I think it's uh, um, Paul Simon. Or is it Simon and Garfunkel? I don't know. Anyways, it slips sliding away. Slip sliding away. The near your destination, more you keep sliding away. Oh, that's interesting. It's almost like the closer you're getting to your destination, the more somehow, I don't know, you feel like you're sliding away from it, or you could make a decision and slide away from it. Oh, fascinating. Queen of Wands, though. I don't know. I feel like running through that tunnel on a horse, the horse is going to slip. Which is the thing that I kind of thought to myself. The horse is going to slip on that surface. And the clomping of the feet is going to be so loud and echoey. It's almost like just, yeah, peace. Okay, nowadays. That's the hidden message. Nowadays, the in-between, the present moment, is not a moment to be lost. The five of wands. Oh, okay. There's presently, maybe there's presently a conflict. Or maybe you have conflict with the present time. Like, yeah, right? I don't want to be in the in-between. I want to be in the future. And then hope. Wow, the high priestess. I don't know. Maybe you're getting tarot readings. <laughs> telling you about, like, hope in the future. Or your intuition. There's, um, yeah. Coming out of the darkness and into the light. Coming into the known, out of the unknown. Okay. This is not, like, it's a, you're getting a reading here that doesn't feel like it's particularly specific about, you know, what this could be. I find my readings are more and more leaning that way, which I kind of sort of like, because I feel like it gives the, the current, y'all, the collective, the ability to match it out more accurately to your life. But let's see now. Let's see how it unfolds <clears throat> the three of wands the ace of <laughs> there's oh no beginning the ace of pentacles yeah you got one coming in and justice oh you have the obvious message here is yes you can expect a new beginning yes and it's almost like yeah i know that like everything starts at some point but maybe i don't know let's see what's the hidden message the four of swords The devil. The seven of wands. There's something in your life here to um, try to make it better. <laughs> that's what this, that's what the hidden message is. I want to say, so maybe there's some type of energy from your past that sort of follows behind you closely. And this energy almost feels like something to rectify, something to, to heal. Now, I'm going to step back from that a little bit because I think for some of you, this is actually even talking about avoiding some, right? Because you got healing on one side of the devil and the other side, like guarding and protecting yourself from it. And right, and the, there's conflict here in the present. It's almost like you're safer in the tunnel. 
kind of feels like you're safer in the tunnel. I feel like I'm getting a message here too, a call, like um, a public service announcement. I'm gonna try to look past it for a second and keep going with this. Um, oh, it's hard to. Okay, where are these messages coming from? The Two of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, The Eight of Swords. Okay, there's something here that's been like an achievement for you. And it's almost like, okay, the other thing I want to say, there could be something significant about falcons. Falcons. Falcons and birds. Like other birds. I'm seeing there's obviously right there's seagulls here, but I'm getting what what do I often see seagulls doing is they're circling, they're utilizing the updrafts. Any birds that you see doing that? Falcons. Could be a peregrine falcon, could be any type of falcon. That's how messages are coming to you through birds. The universe is speaking to you through birds. Watch the movement of the birds. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you can't see where things are going here with the Eight of Swords, but based on, I wanna say, a way that you've built yourself up or how you've protected yourself, this could be financially, this could be even physically in some way here. This Two of Wands, I don't, this is a really curious message lately that's kind of been coming like through the collective in different ways and at different times. It hasn't really come through. I don't know that it's come through um, any of the zodi zodiacs. Maybe it has, but it's definitely been coming through in sort of like the collective readings. And it's something about keeping yourself safe. And I'm going to go into... I'll end this and I'm going to read these cards from another angle. It's coming across as a collect a public service announcement. But it, there is something here about you have created a safe space for yourself. This space is the place where hope grows. Where is this safe space that you've created for yourself? Some of you, you might even be like starting your own business as well. You might not see where this is taking you. There's honestly like another chapter here in your story. And it's a chapter that often, as I say, is a tarot reader. It seems like it's associated with a part of your life where there's something that hasn't opened up. And that's the area that this is highlighting. But the only thing that you can see at this point is hope. And that's gonna come from within yourself. But it also is being shown evidently to you based on what you have built or how you have protected yourself in what way have you claimed sovereignty for yourself there could even be there could be someone it's quite possible someone that you are meant to build something with here and this person has not stepped into your life yet or maybe this person was in your life and they've stepped away but this this person is likely going through something that is very difficult. And when I say difficult, they could be trying to get themselves out of some type of unhealthy codependent contract. Uh, they're kind of fighting against the, the forces of evil, <laughs> fighting against the forces of evil in some way. And you are not, or you're not meant to be doing that at this time. And so your energy cannot combine with the future right now. But you do. You do have a new beginning. And it is just. It is like a new beginning that is almost like promised to you from or by the universe. The universe has maybe even showed you what this is. But it's snow, slow. Maybe something happened quickly. Maybe things started moving quickly for you. And all of a sudden we hit boom. 
we hit slowness. It's okay. It's almost like because it's allowing certain things to be balanced. To the strength. Yeah, okay, you have... You have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Interesting, right? You have the Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles, almost like a, a mother-daughter, or mother-son, or husband, father, <laughs> you know, any dynamic. Parent-child. There we go. And then you have the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Cups. So then we have, right, they have two... There's a lot of court cards. So if it's, it's like lining something up here because the Knight of Cups is coming in with the Queen of Pentacles, which feels slightly imbalanced. There's like the Queen of Cups sitting between the page and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like there's offers that you have been kind of giving or uh, like presenting of yourself that have gone unnoticed. These offers could have been directed to people who were finding um, the status and position more important. Just the way she's holding her fan, she just looks kind of snobby <laughs> to me. This queen, she really does. She just looks kind of like. It's not always, but 99% of the time. She looks kind of snobby and looking down at people. Um, the Queen of Cups is, she's dropping, she's releasing the contents of a cup here. And then she's raising another cup. This could be finding what you've been looking for also. Finding what you've been looking for. If for yourself there's been, it doesn't have to be like snobby and status related, but it could be like something that is offered to you, but it's not offered to you in a way that the offer reflects the value or how the offer is presented to you is not properly reflecting the value of what the offer should contain. So you pour out the offers and then you raise your cup up to the true offer. It's interesting because it's the page. And it's almost like the page is looking at that, like coming out and looking at it. It could be something about yourself that you have found the real value of and then offering that to the world. It might be, you might even be in a situation where you're you're finding your offering or what you have to offer. There isn't like an equal energy there to offer it to is part of this in between. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the extended Taurus. For those of you that wanna follow me over there, in the extended I'm gonna ask, how is your ego interfering with you receiving these messages that your guides are trying to bring to you? And how is your higher self helping you to accept and receive the messages that your guides have been trying to get to you. Um, yeah, and that's what we have. So thank you so much, bovine babies. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.